Yay! This is a precious moment and I am so excited because we had Bible study last night and I was just really itching to say something, but there was no time. <laughs> But there was an opportunity and a statement that was made concerning 24 hours in a day and how every single one of us have the same 24 hours. And I think that you and I can agree. Um, I've often said out loud or to myself, Lord, I need more than 24 hours in a day. And he's never really answered or given any kind of miraculous change to those hours. But... It is true. He's he's just left it at 24. Like, okay, fine. Obviously, if he left it at 24, then he believes the God of creation, the one who knows everything, the, the one who's omnipotent, all-powerful, the one who is omniscient, all-knowing, the one who is omnipresent. He's everywhere. He left it at 24. So, if it's 24 hours, then he believes, and, and I agree, I agree, I have to agree with God that 24 is enough. 24 hours is enough. All right, so then, then why do I still feel like, why do you and I still feel like I just cannot get enough done in that 24? God, I didn't have time to read my Bible today. I'll read it tomorrow. <sighs> okay, I didn't have enough time. You know, I did pray today, but it was, you know, I... 10 minutes, at least, Lord, you know, he's saying, you know, yeah, well, if somebody that you really, really loved and cared for or somebody that um, really just has your whole life in his hands every day, if that were you, if you were taking care of somebody all day and you say, they say, I can only spend two minutes with you. And when I'm about to eat, I'm going to five seconds every time. Thank you, Jesus, for the food. Amen. That's my prayer. I do. So did you pray today? Yes, I prayed today. Did you did you sit down with the Lord today and read? Yes, I did. Now, that does not encompass all of all of your day. Obviously, that does not encompass all of your your Christian obligation. I'm going to put that in quote, quotations, your Christian faith in Christ to sit with Jesus every day. You have other things to do. Yes. So what is going on in these 24 hours? What am I responsible for? Well, the other question that was asked is what is in your hand? What do you have? And so many of you have been given family, a spouse. You've been given children. You've been given finances. You've been given a job. You have been given a car. You have what is in your hand. You have faith. You have the word of God. Uh, so many different resources that you might have. You, you have the ability to cook. You have different talents. What in that day have you been given? If you've been given faith, that means you have faith in Jesus Christ to do the miraculous. Well, God, I'm frustrated today and um, I don't. I just don't feel like going forward. Well, guess what? Today is 24 hours. Get it done in 24 hours. Find your peace in God because it's right there. I wrote on there, in your, in your patience, possess ye your souls. So you have in your 24 an opportunity to be patient, 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 loving, taking your emotions and learning how to patiently Yield them to the Lord. All right, every single one of them. What does that look like before God? God, what is your heart in that? Okay, well, I know that I have to cook dinner today. All right, well, am I going to sacrifice my time with the Lord or am I going to take care of all of my um, family responsibilities? Well, I had to work for eight or nine or 12 hours. So I, I can't spend the time with the Lord that I'm supposed to. Well, in 24 hours in your day, 24 hours in your day, you have responsibilities. And I'm challenging you and I to prioritize them. If today means that you can't work or you have to take off tomorrow so that you can sit with the Lord and really adequately um, reposition yourself with him, do that because you only have 24. But I want to tell you that 24 is enough for you and I to do what God has called us to do in that 24 hours. So you may not feel like in a week you can get everything done. But let's just be reminded that each and every day we have opportunity every, every day to serve the Lord in that 24. You feel like you're lacking faith. You feel like you've been pulled away and you're not sure what direction to, to go in your, in your life or, or in your perspective. Listen, today, handle it one day at a time. In this 24 hours, you and I are able to sit with the Lord and he's able to take care of every concern. He, the word of God says he perfects the things that concern us. He can take care of every concern, every need. He can settle our emotions 
in that 24 hours. And so let's do it. Let's strive for it. Let's go for it together. We've got 24.